Good morning, I'm Francesca Ravanelli from the University of Bolzano Bozen, Faculty of Education. In this presentation, I would like to present you the experience about the digital dimension in student trainship at the University of Bozen, Faculty of Education. We consider this experience as an opportunity to build uh, innovative teaching uh, competences. This is uh, an overview of the topics I would, I would talk about uh, in this presentation. Starting uh, from a brief uh, presentation of myself, uh, I would like to inform you about uh, uh, the Italian Na National Digital Plan. Then, we will consider the digital competences of students' future teacher, teachers and the conceptual framework. In the second part, we will report the digital practices at UniBZ, Faculty of Education, that are the adoption of e-learning portfolio, uh, e portfolio and the digital practices in the trainship workshop. About myself, I have, have been a teacher in primary school, I got a degree in education, then a master's degree in theories and methodologies of e-learning and media education. Uh, I did a PhD in e-learning uh, in higher education. Currently, I am teacher of pedagogy at Faculty of Education and uh, a tutor for students, future teachers at UniBZ. I am always interested in innovative practic practices of teaching, technology, web, network, and answered learning. In, in the 2015, the Italian government approved the nas National uh, Digital School Plan, uh, which, which, is, uh, which has a specific task to produce a perceptible impact on education in the digital age. The term digital should not be considered as technological aspect on, on the dimension, but in a holistic, cultural, pedagogical aspect. This is an open question about digital natives and digital competence. According to Prensky, people born after 2000 are called digital natives. We wonder if it also means digital competent. This is an open question. A lot of research listed below done in some European countries with students, future teachers, shows that reality is more complex and varied and the conclusion could be that digital natives is a myth because the personal use of devices, digital devices and digital apps is completely different uh, as digital professional use. So, seems interesting to ask at, uh, to academic community who and how develop students' digital skills within higher education. We agree with the Estat and Christofferson statement, the development of digital skills in current teacher training plans is weekly implemented in teacher training. The Italian Digital Schools Plan is directly exactly toward this perspective, requiring universities, 
to use digital technology in integrated way in learning and teaching practices. According uh, to Herring, Kohler and Mishra, a well-respected model that teachers should possess is the technological, pedagogical and, uh, and content knowledge that makes the interrelation between all the dimensions of learning and teaching. This is the graphical representation of this model called TPAC framework. How Italian university are dealing with this model? The Italian schools and universities has not officially adopted the TPAC model as a conceptual reference framework in the definition of initial and continuing training course for teachers. An interesting research conducted uh, by D. Blas in 2018 has explored digital practices in the faculties of education, Italian faculties of education. The University of Bolzano appears with some courses but uh, the experience in the trainship doesn't ap appear. In the second part, in this second part, I would like to analyze the TPAC practices at the Faculty of Education, specifically the di digital dimension in the trainship. First of all, since some years, we have adopted an e-portfolio, an e-learning environment in order to document and reflect on the experience in the school. Students, during and after the trainship, can use various forms of languages in documenting their work. Written text, photo, video, audio, often combining them and producing multimedia work. By doing so, they become consciously producers rather than consumers of digital content. This is an important skill in the framework of digital competence, EduComp. In addition, to the e-portfolio, students at the Faculty of Education at Unibizeta can develop the digital competences in other areas. A space for using digital skills is the, trans uh, the trainship workshop. In this occasion, Students are requiring to construct and share digital artifacts in a Moodle platform. Making and sharing multimedia artifacts, such as video, infographics, storytelling, podcasts, interactive maps, photo story, web page, and so on, students can develop a lot of professional skills, interaction, construction, creativity, social competence, and inclusive view of teaching. We can say that developing digital competence in the same time means to develop professional competences and to form and to build more creative and inclusive, innovative teachers. After these experience, experiences, we can conclude, you, you can say in conclusion, that digital practices need scaffold, that digital practices should be embedded in the learning path and not separated, that digital competences enrich professional competences 
that digital competences contribute to build innovative, inclusive and creative teachers. Finally, we conclude with the statement of OSCD. Technology can amplify great teaching, but great technology cannot replace poor teaching. Thank you.